In today's quick tip, we're gonna take a look at how you can drill holes that are the same size, but at different depths at the same time. Okay, so there's a couple of key concepts that we need to go over. Uh, to start out with, I'm gonna start with a solid model. I'm hitting S on my keyboard to toggle the shading on or off. You can see we have two rows of holes. Uh, one row is deeper than the other. Now what our goal is, is to machine these holes at the same time and to use a single feature in the cam tree. So I have the job set up. What we're gonna do is load in our drill hole feature and we'll choose select geometry. Now because I'm working with the model and the only holes that are in the model are the holes that I wanna drill, what I'm gonna do is a window pick of the entire model and I'm gonna choose okay. From here, you'll see that the whole diameter was picked up, and when it shows depths, it does show multiple depths, okay? We're gonna uncheck a through hole because we're actually not drilling a through hole, and we're gonna choose next. Now, the first thing that you're gonna notice here is that there's a hole group, and right now we've identified two different hole groups. Because of selecting the model, the software was able to read the hole diameter and the hole depth. And you'll notice one hole depth goes to a half inch and one hole depth goes to uh, three quarters of an inch, okay? So just by selecting uh, solid uh, cylindrical tubes for your holes, the software can read the size of the hole and also the depth and allow us to program it at one time. Now I'm gonna go to machining strategy and I'm just gonna choose a hole here. With the Bobcat system, you have the ability to add multiple uh, operations to your hole cycles. So you could spot them, drill them, ream them, bore them, uh, chamfer them, all in one machining feature. In this case, we're gonna just spot and drill. I'm gonna use the default settings and compute. And really, it's just that easy. We're able to pick multiple holes with different depths and machine them at the same time. And the way that the software determines uh, which depth to go to is using these hole groups. The hole groups allow you to sort your different hole depths and program them. And again, we're doing it all within a single feature. Now let's go back to our CAD window here and let me remove our geometry. Uh, and then I'm gonna recompute to update our toolpath. Now, if you're not working with a solid, how could you accomplish a sim similar result? Well, what I'm gonna do is go to translate here, and I'm gonna take this first group of holes, okay? And I'm gonna move them down in Z for how deep I want them to drill to. In this case, I'm gonna do uh, minus uh, 675. Okay, we'll say okay to that group, all right. Now with this next group here, I'm gonna do another translate. I'll select these holes here, and these ones I actually wanna go down to minus inch and a quarter. And we'll say okay. All right, so again, we have our two different holes, but you'll see that the holes are located at different depths. And what we wanna do is when we select these holes for machining, we wanna use their location as the depth for the whole cycle. So we'll go back to the cam tree. We're gonna reselect our geometry. Now we do need to make a change to the user interface. Here we need to, for our point and arc usage, instead of using ignore Z, we're gonna choose use as bottom. We'll window select our geometry, click okay. I'm gonna come back and edit our feature and you'll see with our whole group, it was able to pick up each of the different depths for where that geometry was located. Okay, so you can use this feature whether you're working off a solid model or whether you're working off of arcs or even point locations.